I'm Paul Fink here, the Maverick Millionaire, and we are talking about happy, upset, depression. What's going on? Are you ready to throw in the towel? This is the Maverick Universe. This is Paul Fink, the Maverick Millionaire, and we want to have some major discussion on what is going on here. We've got the coronavirus. We've got so much challenge in the world right now. We've got people both physically as well as financially challenged in the world. And what are we doing about it? What are you doing personally to hold on, to really stay, stay the course and create a magnitude of results for yourself? That's what we're talking about here. And we are now in the Maverick Underground. I pick different locations to do my Facebook lives and all my my productions and so you are in the maverick underground Shh, quiet spot quiet area a secret spot that no one knows exactly where it is but we're in the maverick underground sharing with you some of the key components on how to create a component of your world how to create the world that you really want how to create the universe that really will serve you and serve your community, your society and everybody around you to a greater level. That's what this is all about. That's what we're talking about here. And I wanna talk about, and several people have been bringing it to my doorstep, and that is that they're not quite feeling up to the battle. They're not quite feeling ready to engage They're They're describing it as depression, although I know it's probably isn't clinical depression. They're describing it as being upset, uh, just feeling overwhelmed, uh, not really sure what to do, where to go, how to go about their world or their life. And boy, oh boy, it's, uh, it, it is a component of what's going on now. As people get locked down in their in and hovel down in their homes, uh, as people are secluded from their normal activities, as they're not able to engage in the world the way they used to, all these shifts and changes and isolation is causing people to have a certain form of desperation in their world, a certain form of depression. That is what they're describing and. It's a sadness. And I will say first and foremost is that it's okay to feel sad. So often when um, I talk about optimism and when people see me and I've got a smile on my face on a regular basis, people are like, well, don't you ever get sad? Don't you ever get upset? Of course I do. And yet I know that that crying, that, that, that disturbance within me doesn't always serve me and especially holding onto it for long periods of time doesn't serve me and it certainly doesn't serve my community or the nation or the universe as a whole. What serves is to keep moving forward with hope and belief in the future. And that's really key. Right now, one of the biggest things is to believe that the future is bright, to believe that there is something past all this. It's one of the biggest components for optimists. It's one of the biggest components of actually building up strength of character and moving forward. Unless you believe that your battle is worth it, unless you believe that when you walk through that fire that there is a heaven on the other side, unless you believe that going to battle will actually win the war, you would never go to battle. You would never go through the, the struggles. You would never sacrifice. You would never do. You would never be motivated to move forward. So absolutely, one of the key components is believing. One of the things that I that I taught my children and in turn and teach all my students and all the clients that I have that I coach all around the world is that this too will pass. No matter what your 
downturn is, no matter what your struggles are, no matter what is going on in your life right now, there's a timeline to it. There's a finality to it. It will pass. It will change. It'll shift. And greatness will be in front of you. Greatness is your future. Do you have a goal for being happy? Do you have a goal for having that hope, that faith? Do you have a goal for just smiling from ear to ear? See, one of the other challenges I see is people, you know, they wallow. They wallow in the, in the anguish. They wallow in the self-pity. They like the pain. It's safe. It's comforting. It's easier than actually getting up, fighting through the pain and moving forward with a gusto. There is a, there is a comfortness in just putting yourself under the covers and going to sleep. I want you to get up out of the bed. I want you to get up out from under the covers. I want you to pull your head up and, and just get ready because the rest of your life depends on it. The rest of your life depends on it. Being happy. One of the things that they've, they've experienced, and they've done studies on this, is that do you know that when you're happy, when you're optimistic, when you have a bright mindset and you put a smile on your face, you actually attract more people into your world. You attract more joy, happiness, excitement into your life. You also become 31% smarter. I know that's hard to believe. You become smarter when you're happy. You become smarter when you're smiling, when you're optimistic. The, they've done the studies where there's a certain chemical that triggers. There's certain components of, of speed of your synapses that kicks into place that creates a smarter mentality. What we mean by that is that you're actually more creative and more open and more synaptic energy is flying around your brain. So you're accessing more of your brain when you're happy. All of this translates into finding solutions more readily, moving forward with creative endeavors, and just, just creating solutions, finding solutions where you didn't find them before, all because you decided to put a smile on your face. That makes a difference. So do you want to be smarter? Do you want to be happier? Do you want to have more joy in your life? Do you want to be, how about this? Do you want to have more financial well-being in your world? That's right. You can actually be richer by smiling. They've done additional studies that showed you not only are smarter, you have a 37% increase in sales when you're optimistic, positive mindset, and smiling. Wow. You can increase your sales by 37%? That's insane. Just because you smile? Nah, I don't believe it. Yeah. It's the challenge to people that will be skeptics, will be haters on this will keep themselves from smiling and never know that they could have had an increase in financial well-being just because they smiled. In this day and age, this is more important than ever. Creating that positive outlook, creating that positive mindset, creating that difference internally, which will create a difference externally. So powerful, so important in this day and age. I want to share with you a couple of other things. With happiness being your goal, you can actually create more in your world. You can sell more. You can be smarter. You can bring in more people into your world that are happy, joyful, excited about life. You actually will bring in more love into your life. You'll be able to sleep better. You'll eat better. Oh, my gosh. All because you decided to smile. How about this one? 
you will actually exercise, learn faster, and get more excited about life. Get more excited about life. So wait a second. I smile. I get excited. I smile. I get excited. Life becomes more exciting. It's a fascinating equation. Years ago, I wrote in the margin of a book I was reading, and it got brought to my attention recently as my son was reading the same book, one of my old books, and he was reading it, and in the margin was this quote that I wrote so many decades ago. Get excited over life, and life will excite you. Get excited over life, and life will excite you. Are you excited over life? Are you putting a smile on your face? Are you going after life with a gusto? Are you excited to get up in the morning every single day? Now I know right now there's challenge. I know right now there's there's devastation in some people's worlds. I know I've I've felt it myself. I've had downturns in my business. I've had personal experience with the death around us. And I also know that unless I decide that I want something different, different won't come into my life. Unless I get excited about life, how could life feed me excitement, joy, happiness? Get excited and life will be exciting. Start utilizing words, words internal and external that you can put into your world, that you can put into your life to create a magnitude of difference. I will, I believe, I can. These are all positive powerhouse words to, to put throughout your day. How about just the simple word, yes, I can, we can, we can do it, and we can do it now. We have control to change the world. These are all powerhouse words that you can put into your vocabulary. To pick yourself up, get going, and decide to be happy, because the alternative just makes you dumb. Just it, And that's not me being derogatory. It's just the studies have shown. How about this? And I'm rapid firing information to you. The key component of being, being optimistic versus pessimistic, being happy versus lack thereof, not to give in to the sadness, the sorrow that's around us. Now, you can feel sadness only understand that you can change it as well. To feel sorrow in a moment, to feel sorrow in fleeting aspects, moments of your day, week, or month, awesome. Understandable. Shit's going on. However, holding on to it, wallowing in it, that's unforgivable. You're better than that. You can create more. The world is waiting for you. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to the world around you. Step up. Be the person you can be. It is such a powerful equation. Decide to put the smile on your face and just see what happens. One of the interesting things, and I've always been a optimist, and I didn't always understand what that meant. It's just, I just tended to look at the world in a different way than others. That counterintuitive maverick way, that, that way of just showing up differently. And I looked at it and I, I began to analyze what's the difference? What's the difference between who I am and how I show up and how others do? And there is a difference between optimists and pessimists. And optimists do receive more in their world. It's a given. 
You want to know more, and I'm going to go into some details in just a moment, but you want to know more than just this, and there's a whole deeper dive into this I want to share with you. The difference between optimism and pessimism, what it means in your world, and how it translates into happy, joyful, great relationships, and who here would love a little bit of money in their life? Who would love even more money in their life? really being clear with what it takes to be that optimist. And we're going to do a deep dive. We've got a live, no, 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 virtual event coming up. Yes, that's right. We're going to be live here, but virtual, meaning we're through digital platform, coming up on Thursday of this week. That's right, May 21st. We're going to have our virtual event. It's a full day where I'm going to be teaching and training really key techniques on how to step up, how to build your business, how to create more income, and really how to have a glorious life, even with the struggles that some people are experiencing from the outside world. How to really experience and grab hold of the components that'll make the difference. After 30, almost 35 years as an entrepreneur, I've been through the up, sideways, downturns, craziness, that can be our world and from the core lessons I've learned from what I've experienced and now what I teach, I can tell you there's a way to move through this, to create abundance in your life right now. I'm going to be sharing that with you at Maverick Success Live Sneak Peek. All you got to do is go to maverick.sneakpeek.com and we will be able to get you right in the door it's coming up this Thursday. You don't want to miss it. It's a full day experience and we're going to have so much fun and share with you some key components and really doing a deeper dive even in this topic. So what's the difference? Optimist, pessimist, what's the difference between those? An optimist, man, good things happen, but good things happen to everybody, don't they? Bad things happen. Bad things happen to everybody, don't they? You see, my belief is that the good and the bad, it's doled out all over the place all the time. The, the best of the best that I've experienced, the people that I know in the world that have experienced greatness, have experienced joy, have experienced success in abundance, have had hard times, have had bad stuff happened to them, have really had, had a weight put on their shoulders, and they still succeeded. Ooh. I know other people, other people that, that didn't succeed, other people that had a horrible, devastating life, and barely a pebble was put in their way, and yet that alone kept them from moving forward. That alone kept them from having any sort of joy, happiness, financial abundance in their world whatsoever. Just a pebble of a challenge. What's the difference? An optimist, when something good happens in their world, man, they love it. They, they, they take pride in it. They know that they caused it. And they know that it's going to happen over and over and over again. It's perpetual. This is really key. So the good things for an optimist are going to happen over and over again. They were the cause of it. It's going to happen over and over again. They were the cause of it. And it is absolutely going to sustain for a while now. An optimist, when something bad happens to them, what do you think they look at? What do you think they think of? Oh, something bad. Oh, pfft. That's external stuff that came into my world. It had nothing to do with me. Bad stuff that comes into my world, it's momentary. It's going to shift. It's going to change any day now. And it's going to happen only sporadically throughout my life. Stuff's going to happen. It's not going to happen over and over again. This is just a momentary glitch in the greatness that is my life. That's the optimistic point of view. Guess what? 
The pessimistic point of view is the exact opposite. What does that look like? A pessimist, when good things happen, they know it had nothing to do with them. That good stuff, where did that come from? Because it had nothing to do, I, man, always bad things happen to me. The good stuff, I, I don't know where that came from. The good, the good stuff that comes into a pessimistic life, it's momentary. It's not going to happen for very long. It's not going to be here for long. And it certainly isn't going to happen readily over and over and over again. It's going to be a momentary glitch. And then I'm going to go right back to the hell that I've always lived in my whole life. And so one of the biggest challenges is the simple outlook. And I teach what you put out there, you get back. And so when we end up in this space as a pessimist, anything that's good it's because of other people and it's gonna be fleeting and then it's gonna be out of my life. Something bad happens to a pessimist. Oh my God, I can't believe I caused this again. It's gonna stay here forever and it's going to happen over and over and over again for the rest of my life. Major differences. However, every one of these is changeable. Every one of these differences is an internal thought process that you have control over, that you can decide right now to shift and change that, to decide as things that are good in your world, as they come in, take pride, you cause them. As those good things come into your world, take pride that it's gonna happen over and over and over again because of the efforts that you're putting through that you're putting forth in your world. And any bad that happens is fleeting, it's momentary. Ever since this whole lockdown has happened, I've been determined to create a new existence, a whole new map, because I have control, because I can, because I decided that this was fleeting, this was momentary, it was not gonna be the the guiding light for my life, it's just a, a passing fancy. It's a, it's a blip. It's nothing more than a momentary upset that we're all going to get through because this too will pass and the rest of our life is ahead of us. I plan and continue to plan for the rest of my life, not based on the fact that, well, this is my life. No. The shift, the change, the excitement of the future is my world. How are you moving through this challenge? Understanding the differences between my, with your mindset of optimism and pessimism and understanding you have control. Be happy. Decide to be happy in everything you do. Decide you can make the difference. Decide that you are. Everything else will follow. Believe, use the words internally and externally and create a magnitude of results for yourself. Go ahead and put your comments below. Absolutely share this throughout the community and in Facebook. And we'll also have this in YouTube. And when you go to YouTube, by the way, absolutely like and subscribe. We're looking to build our, our YouTube community because we've got so much more video that's popping and, and coming to play. So absolutely, you want to get notified of the latest trainings that we have. It's all going to end up at on the YouTube channel so that you're going to get notified instantly for all that. So go like and subscribe on my YouTube channel and understand the Maverick universe is growing by leaps and bounds. Come hang out during the Maverick Success Live sneak peek, which is coming up and it's a full day virtual experience that I'm going to be running, hosting, and be the main stage speaker. We're not gonna have a whole lot of other people speaking there. Matter of fact, there'll be nobody else uh, officially speaking on stage, it's really core training, moving you through what it's going to take to create success in your world and your life right now. So absolutely pay attention to that. This is, and I've got some comments. Let me see if I can uh, see what people are saying. Shift and change. Take pride. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
how you're moving through this challenge. It's about deciding. Key, key, key. Absolutely make sure that you know that you can decide to be happy. You can decide to create the difference in your world or you can wallow. And right now, man, the differential between the the haves and the have nots is going to be tremendous as we go through the through this and get to the other side. And it's not going to have anything to do with social economic status prior to this. It's going to have everything to do with the mindset that people had while they were going through it. You get to decide. Are you going to be someone that ends up coming out of this, this lockdown with more or with less? Did you spend this time just covered up under the blankets or did you spend it growing and developing and creating more with a power and a passion that you can deliver every day? This is really key components in your world. Get in the game. Life is exceedingly exciting. Make sure you share that excitement. Make sure you show it and give life the key components that it needs to show you how exciting it can be. Put a smile on your face. This is Paul Fink, the Maverick Millionaire. Till next time, everyone.